Hello and welcome back to the second geostatistic course with QGIS and R. This course is about exploratory data analysis, B-variate analysis. This is the fourth lesson of this course and today we are going to be talking about simple regression analysis. Today we are going to start the lesson having a discussion about the importance of the coefficient of correlation and also the regression analysis. Later, we are going to create a script with QGIS to see what model fits better in our data. It's going to be a linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial, and also cubic polynomial. Then we are going to learn how the last squares methodology works. After that, we are going to analyze the parameters associated with the regression lines. We are going to create a script to see all this data. In this point, we are going to see the residual sum of squares known as RSS, also the residual standard error, RSE, the total sum of squares, TSS, and also the R square. The next thing is going to be the creation of a script to extract the residual and predicted values from our models and add those parameters to the attribute table in QGIS. In that way, we can analyze all this new data in QGIS. After that, we are going to be ready to analyze the residual values with histograms, QQ plots, scatter plots, and also we can execute the test of normality. At the end of the lesson, we are going to create two scripts to see the relation with the residual values with the models. We are going to do that one for the linear model and also for the cubic model. This is one hour lesson about simple regression analysis. Pretty important if you want to know how to apply successfully Krigin interpolation. You have to know that this course is not available in YouTube. If you want to have access to the course, just go to the GeoRGV community website at gscourse.online. Then go to the tab courses and over there you can get enrolled in the course. Currently the course has four lessons and almost three hours of content. I'm going to be uploading new lessons in the next weeks. Also from the website you can download it, all the scripts that we are using in the lessons in that way, you can set up all these scripts in your QGIS. Well, this is the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one.